Hello, I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well today. In today's case of Mystery Psychic Files, I'll be looking at the mysterious death of uh, Princess Diana, who died in a car accident in France, Paris on August 31, 1997. And of course, we know there's a lot of theories and conspiracy theories out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on Diana. I'm not going to focus on all the occupants in the car. I'm just going to focus on Diana as well as the days leading up to the accident. And of course, uh, bringing some role players, uh, I feel that possibly had a role in this mysterious car accident. All right, so let me take a moment to focus and tune in. All right, so who was Princess Diana? Diana was born on July the 1st, 1961. So that gives her the 7, 1 and 8 with the outcome double 8 and the outcome of 16, 7. Now, I'm not going to go into too much who she was. I believe we all know who she was and understand and appreciate her legacy. Now, what I find quite fascinating is looking at her numbers and the position she found herself in as the Princess of Wales. Now, I can tell you with the sevens and the outcome seven of her date of birth, this woman was all about freedom, freedom of movement, exploration, even with the eight exploration, she loved to travel, which we know she traveled extensively, but it was in her inner core nature to be free without any bounds. And, you know, I would just say, and we saw this with uh, Meghan Markle and um, her son, Prince Harry, you know, to have those kind of numbers and living in the monarchy, British monarchy, where there are such strict rules and regulations on how to behave, what to do, what to say, everything monitored every second of the day. This would have definitely stifled her during her earlier years within the monarchy. And of course, she was being subservient in that she was playing the game or following the rules in the early days. And we know this would not last at all. So it was quite interesting to see uh, the seven outcome. She must have been really, really stifled within those walls of the uh, monarchy. And also with those eights, eights very, um, and we saw this with uh, Princess Diana, that uh, a lot of communication, a lot of good work she did around uh, the world and within the UK as well. Um, but really, I would say uh, Diana certainly had a message for us. Uh, she was definitely an elevated being. So it was quite interesting. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly when the dream happened, but I would say probably within the 72 hours after the um, accident, I had a very vivid dream about uh, Princess Diana at the time. And I believe it was uh, a prophetic dream of sorts where I found myself on like a hilltop. And I was walking down to like an elevated edge type area, quite a large area. And there were several other um, people standing there and even um, some animals. And I just found myself walking down and seeing all these people there and some animals and uh, all looking outward. And together we would watch the elevation of Diana after her passing. It was really quite a unique um experience i had never experienced that kind of thing before and you know when she passed and i'm sure everyone would agree that it was a serious um, um shock to the system of course it was a, a sudden death it was an unexpected death so obviously that would prompt a lot of um suspicion around the um, motor vehicle accident and you know at the time she was the most famous person in the world and had a huge impact on the world with all the goodwill that she had done around the world with her different campaigns. And uh, yeah, I think even still today, she is truly missed. And you know, with Meghan and uh, Prince Harry, they have certainly also opened the doors as to what was actually going on behind the walls of the British monarchy. So 
now i'm going to take you to the slide of the days leading up to the event now the event was on august 31 1997 so again we do have a lot of information here and i will take you through it slowly but uh, i must tell you there was i believe there was definitely a surveillance operation going on i believe lady diana would have been monitored 24 7 and i believe uh, the monarchy certainly did have a hand in this situation i believe so let's have a look here i took it back to august 27 1997 which gives us the 8 27 9 and 8. now when we start seeing that 27 9 i start getting anxious that tells me there's a law that's going to be broken with the outcome of a death with that nine okay and uh, when we see that 17 8 you know that 2717 that for me is laws being broken there was certainly a communication around a law being broken um, this was to silence someone and we saw those kind of numbers with the alex murder story and i believe an injustice was being planned and would be about diana now i believe where we see i've written there the hit 17 8 that 8 is diana a law was being broken and communicated by the number nine and i believe that number nine belongs to queen elizabeth ii you know what's surprising and i believe the outcome there it's quite interesting that the august 27 has an outcome 16 7. now we'll notice with diana she has an outcome 16 7. and we also note that uh, the queen elizabeth ii the late queen also has an outcome 167 both have an outcome 7 and i would say that pings directly on the current king charles the third with his seven and this was all about a bumping of heads the i think you know what's quite ironic here is that the queen perceived that the breakup between charles and diana was the most scandalous thing that could ever hit the monarchy but personally i believe what was going on behind Diana's back was even more scandalous um, with Charles sneaking out to see Camilla all the time. And, you know, by this stage, when she had gone to France, the divorce had happened. But of course, they couldn't keep their grabby paws out of her business. And um, I keep getting a, a, a tiny ping and I haven't put him in into this reading. And that is um, obviously uh, Dodie, uh, Diana's boyfriend at the time. A very wealthy family based in the UK. Um, yeah, I think they might have just used their Dodie as an excuse, as some kind of security risk. You know, a British citizen being involved with an Egyptian, with the Arab descent. You know, all those racist tendencies coming out in play here as well, uh, which we've seen uh, pop out from the monarchy even as recently as this year. Um, really disgusting um so let's have a look august 28 1997 we start seeing movement of big role players in here with that 10 one and with the eights now that 10 one and the eights and you'll see later the 12 three and you'll see the um you'll see interesting numbers start popping up here which is the 10 one the 11 two as well as the eight as well as the three and the 12 outcome three there were many people involved here and i believe you know having looked at this chart we're seeing a lot of throughness of numbers so that alerts me like we'll see the nine on august 27 we see the nine again on the 28th we see the nine on the 29th this is not a coincidence diana was definitely being monitored and initiated by the queen um, standing behind the queen would be prince charles with his 11 2 and when we start seeing the numbers 10 1 on the 28th we see it on the 29th we see it on the 30th we're looking at the mi6 involvement here also with the 12 3 from mi6 as well as the 11 2 which pings directly on prince charles as well this was a family and I'm referring to the Queen and the current King um, wanting to get rid of 
or tie up loose ends. Okay. So the August 28th, we see that 10-1. I believe that's where the MI6 were getting ready, getting involved. Uh, already the French Secret Service DGSE with the outcome 8 were involved. And that 17-8 again, we see which originated on the 27th, is now present on the 28th. This was a course of action set in motion. Okay. And I believe, having meditated on this while uh, creating these slides and looking at these slides, my impression that I received is the French were monitoring Diana. And of course, that would be MI6 as well. But I believe closer to the time, which would have been August the 29th, so two days before the actual event, MI6 were on the ground, had arrived in France, and were plotting their mission. And this was a covert clandestine mission, monitoring Diana and Dodi. And they were going to put an end to this relationship because it looked bad on the Queen and bad on Charles. There was definitely backhand manipulation going. We see that through the through nine of the nines. Then we see on August the 29th, 11-2 are on the scene. That pings directly on King Charles as well as MR6. And Prince Charles was fully aware of what was going on with the situation. MR6 were of course fully aware of the situation. The DGSE, which is the French Secret Service, were definitely aware of the situation. On August the 30th, now keep in mind the actual accident happened on the early hours of the morning, August 31. So the day before, what do we see? August 30th, we see the three of the day. And I would say from sunset to midnight on that day. So from the time the sun set, where we see the 11, 2 and the 8. A law was broken. And what does that mean in the physical? So in the physical, that car, I believe, would have been tampered with. And that's also the eight ever present. Eight mechanical engineering vehicle mode of transport. Okay. And I believe a law by the end of August 30, they would have already tampered with that vehicle. And that would have been involving French as well as MR6. Okay. I believe the dirty work, in my opinion, in other words, rigging the vehicle, getting close to the vehicle, manipulating the vehicle, would have come from MR6. I, I kept on getting the impression that, let's just say the French would have been informed that Dodi is a risk from a political point of view, ties to the Arab world, all that kind of nonsense, which was all bullshit. And I believe on August the 30th, MI6 were on the ground. And we see that outcome 10-1. Now we're getting all these through lines here. We see August 29th, the 10-1. August the 28th, 10-1. That is MI6 in motion, in operation, on the ground by the August 30. In fact, they would have got into France by August the 29th, that late evening. And the August 30th, and I've just had an image now of someone getting under the car. I just received an image of someone getting under the car, tampering with the car that would ultimately collide in the bridge. And what we're seeing, we've seen a full co-op in action on the August of the 30th with 11-2 MR6, the 8, which is DGSE. And that eight also is um, reflective of Diana. It was all happening around her. With the outcome 10-1, that 10-1 is about organization, a group, a group of spies, a group of um, agents, let's say. Okay. So by the time we get to the early hours of early hours morning of August 31, we knew they traveled after midnight. And I made a note there, a murder, 31-4, with the outcome 4, occurred 
by sunrise. So when we see that 4 on that first line from the 31, by the time the sun rose, there had been a murder, a planned murder. It was controlled by the 3, which is MR6, and a very violent death being in that car accident. I mean, if you look at the uh, picture of the Mercedes there, and I'm gonna okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show some uh, pictures from the actual crash scene now, and of course it's just mainly of the motor vehicle. Now, if you look at that motor vehicle, how violently that Mercedes Benz would have had to crash into that pillar at that speed causing all that damage i mean mercedes are well known for being a very good car but with that eight plus the four plus the eight very violent manipulation of mechanics and that car was sabotaged to crash okay that car was sabotaged to crash and we see on august 31 with the outcome 12-3 MR6 and the 8, which is the DGSE, and of course the death of Diana. Now, what alarms me the most, if I only had one number yet, the outcome of August 31, 1997 is an 11-2. That 11 2 tells me a law had been broken. And the, followed by false communication, which is the 8th there as well. False communication about the accident. And controlled by 12.3, which is MR6. Because we know the final outcome was that the driver was drunk. Now, it's quite convenient, and I haven't gone into this in this reading, but... Now, it's alleged that the driver who was accused of being drunk, which is false, did have ties to MR6 as well. Okay. Now, if I had to go into every single person in that vehicle and every single person involved, this would be a two hour reading. But for because of the platform and because we want to look at directly at what happened to Diana during this time, those through lines alert me that this was a operation in motion by the queen by the king by mr6 by dgse these guys were all involved in causing the death of diana and all controlled by mr6 on the ground monitored by dgse and i find it very very disturbing that the monarchy felt so intimidated, so insecure, so threatened by a beautiful person like Diana. And I would say that the um, the mission that Prince Harry is on at the moment is an outcome of this situation and many other situations that the monarchy have been getting away with murder, robbery. They stole a beautiful person from this planet because of their own personal needs and perspectives on how people were perceiving the monarchy. But in fact, what had actually happened was that this just shone a negative light on the Queen and shone a negative light on King Charles himself. And this is what happens. And now some... Uh, 20 odd years later, what's happened? Prince Harry, Diana's son, is spilling the beans on what was actually happening in the monarchy. I find this repulsive and disgusting that all these through lines up until the end of Diana's demise by the Queen, by the King, by the security agencies of the respective countries, all had a hand in destroying a beautiful person. However, the legacy and the memories we have of Diana will far exceed what any 
controlling force might have on this earth plane. All right, let me know what your thoughts are. And I would love to see your comments. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon so you can be alerted to new episodes. And I would just say stay safe and stay alert and I'll see you in the next one.